Hi, I'm Stephen Downs. I'd like to take a few minutes today to talk about the difference between a learning management system, also known as a VLE, and a personal learning environment, also known as a PLE. A learning management system is something with which you are probably all familiar. A learning management system sits in an educational institution or a corporation or a government and provides a centralized repository of content and services. Individual learners, represented here by nice smiley faces, access the learning management system and obtain the content. They can also perform activities on the learning management system, including having discussions with themselves, having conferences with themselves, and these days even having live synchronous interactive conferences with each other. A personal learning environment, by contrast, does not place a large piece of software at the center. Rather, the model is you, the smiling individual, are at the center, and then you access your content and services from different places all over the web. You can still access a learning management system, but you're also accessing things like iBooks, or you're accessing things like Facebook, or you're accessing things like Google Docs, etc whatever you want to access, wherever you want to access it. You can see a very clear difference between these two systems, right? The learning management system is centralized, whereas a personal learning environment is decentralized. Now, an advocate of a learning management system might say, well, it doesn't really matter if you're decentralized because we can offer all of these services, video, social network, discussion boards, live online conferences, etc., all in the one single place, just by offering extensions. We can even emulate a massive open online course simply by adding social networking features and an aggregator to a learning management system. And here's how this works. Here's the, how this sort of system looks. You have the learning management system again, and two people, represented again by nice smiley faces, log on to the learning management system, which might be Moodle, Moodle or Blackboard or Desire to Learn or Saba or whatever, and then through that learning management system access the collaboration environment, whether it's an online synchronous discussion, whether it's a simulation, a game, a discussion board, or whatever. That's a very common model for a learning management system, and as time has gone by, they've extended the range of these collaborative environments. The problem with setting it up this way, and we've certainly discovered this in our own experience, is if the person does not have an account with the learning management system, then they cannot access the collaborative environment. So you need some way in order to be able to allow people to connect directly to the collaborative environment. And that's basically how the personal learning environment gets off the ground. Here's the solution to that problem, right? Here's your collaborative environment. It's been separated from the learning management system and stands on its own out there in the world somewhere so that you and your friend can connect to the collaborative environment. You can still connect to your learning management system if you want, but your friend doesn't have to, and you can still collaborate. Well, the uh, defenders of the learning management systems might say, well, you can still manage to do this. You can still have people connecting, even though they're not on the same learning management system, by forming a network. But when somebody supporting a learning management talks about a network, here's generally what they're talking about. What you have here is a network between learning management systems. Here you are, and you log on to your local learning management system. Here's your friend, and your friend lo logs on to his or her local learning, learning management system. And the LMSs are directly connect connected. This is known as a federation, and the idea is that trusted LMSs, that is to say LMS vendors who trust each other, connect with each other and share information about individual logons with each other. So, for example, you might have an identity federation where if you log on to one LMS, your credentials will be recognized than any of the other LMSs. Shibboleth is a good example of an identity federation. The problem with a federation 
can be seen pretty clearly in this diagram where we have this poor person over here. This poor person is not a member of any of the LMSs. He's locked out of the Federation and because he's locked out of the Federation, he's not able to access any of the collaborative resources and services. This is why an LMS and an LMS Federation does not really provide the advantage that a network does. Here's how personal learning environments look at networks. Instead of connecting LMSs with each other, we connect individuals with each other. Each individual is directly connected with the other. They can connect by sending messages, sharing resources, or however they want. They can access any third-party system to form this connection that they want, including an LMS, but they're not required to join an LMS. And as you can see from this diagram, three of the people here are connected to different LMSs, and a fourth isn't connected to any LMS at all. So nobody is locked out of the network when you're using personal learning environments. Everybody can connect in some way, and you don't have to join the Federation. Well, there's another reason why this is significant, not simply because it lets the outsiders in. The other thing is it gives you access over your own data. Look at how a learning management system typically handles this sort of thing. Here you are, represented by a smiley face, logging on to your learning management system once again. Your data rests with the learning management system. That's really important. When you log on, when you do educational activities, when you read a book, conduct activities, all of that data is stored centrally at the learning management system. But if you leave the institution or the company, your data doesn't travel with you. Your data stays there. So once you've left that LMS, you've left that data and any advantage you could gain from that data behind. This is an untenable situation. Also, with that data in the hands of the LMS, the LMS owners can share it with whomever they want. Sure, there are laws that prevent them from sharing it willy-nilly, but we've seen through history that LMSs can be hacked. We've seen that companies get acquired by other companies. We've seen that companies accede quite willingly to government demands. So your information is out there and it's pretty much fair game for everyone. Look at a personal learning environment, however. In a personal learning environment, the responsibility for your information moves from the LMS to you. You manage your own data. Now, you might decide to trust third-party services with your data. I certainly trust Google with some of my data. I trust Dropbox with some of my data. I trust Amazon Web Services with some of my multimedia, etc. But it's my choice, and I choose what my providers will be and what my level of security will be. When you've set it up this way, if an LMS wants to use some of your data, it goes through you. In fact, if any third-party service wants to use some of your data, it goes through you. That's how OAuth is supposed to work. That's how OpenID is supposed to work. The idea here is that in a distributed personal learning environment style network, you manage your own data, you manage your own connections, and you access resources directly. There are still learning management systems there are still learning institutions, but these now become, rather than the center of your learning existence, they become one more of a set of many players in your learning existence. So I hope you'll join me as a happy smiley face in the world of personal learning environments. I look forward to seeing you there, and I look forward to seeing your smiley faces one day soon.